Hello, hello everybody, Casey here again. So today we're gonna channel our inner ballerinas and uh, do a ballet inspired workout called Ballet Cardio Sculpt. You don't have to have a dance background to enjoy the benefits of this workout. A great cardiovascular workout as well as a great workout for toning the hips and shoulders. All you need is bare feet, uh, tennis shoes, or if you have ballet shoes and you'd like to use them, you're welcome to do that. Um, but use whatever you're comfortable with and you can do this in the comfort of your home or possibly outside you're welcome to add your own music i'm just going to use the wonderful sound of the birds in the background here so that you guys can hear me so just follow along and enjoy so we're going to start in what we call first position so your heels are together toes turned out we want you to bring your hands down in front think about inhaling and rolling the shoulders up towards the ears exhaling sliding them down the spine so do that a few times and just think about lengthening through the crown of your head for a moment, getting long in the back of the neck, thinking of how like extra long you're going to feel after this, maybe a little taller. Good. One more like that. And then I want you to imagine like you're zipping up tight jeans. So I want you to think about pulling that zipper up and engaging your core, hugging your midline as you pull that zipper right up through your midline. So nice and in tight in that midsection. So our core works a lot in this workout. So always think about keeping that nice and tight. Then think about squeezing your inner thighs together, engaging the glutes and kind of hugging everything together here. Take a nice inhale again. And as you exhale, we're gonna come into a little plie where we're just bending the knees, kind of shooting them out towards the toes. And when you come back to that starting position, again, I want you to think about squeezing and hugging everything in together. That includes your glutes and core, keeping those shoulders down out of those ears, but your back, your shoulders, they're engaged. They're working back there as well. So I really want you to think about contracting those muscles as well. All right, from here, we're gonna bring our arms out wide now, continue that plie, just warming up the legs here to start. We'll do two more, one more. Now we're just gonna lift heels, alternating, just to start to warm up the feet, keeping those arms out long. You can always drop your hands, um, or arms rather, in any, at any time if your shoulders start to fatigue. Good. Let's do four more, three, two, and one. Now from here, you're gonna point your toes, slide it out in front of you, really engage that quad, bring it back in. And then you're gonna bring it out to the side, pull it back in. Then behind you, pull it back in. Let's do the left side now. Point, pull it back in to the side. Good, back. Let's do that again, alternating legs. Front, then side, then back. Now left leg, front, good, side. Now back. All right, do that again, front. So we'll call this tendu, or sometimes I'll refer to it as just pointing the toe. Left leg, front, side, then back. Let's do that again. Let's make it a little bit of a sweep now. And sweep, so this is where your core has to start to work a little harder to help you stabilize that spine. Good. Let's do that again, each leg, front, Side, then behind, left leg, front, starting to feel those arms probably, warming up. Again, each side, front, then side, then back. Good, other leg. Now, the other thing I want you to think about is pointing the toe, lengthening through that toe the whole time, good. All right, from here, I want you to reach your arms up, get nice and long. We're gonna come down into a plie where we bring our arms down. This time we're gonna to try to lift up on the toes into our releve. So a little plie, a little releve. And if you think about, again, hugging the midline, that's gonna help you balance at the top of that releve. Good, down, lift. All right, so hopefully you're starting to feel warm now in the lower body, the core, the shoulders. We'll put some combinations together using these ballet inspired moves. Good. Four more like that. Three, two, one. Now bring the arms out. This time I want you to 
lift that leg a little higher into a kick. Good, stay on that same right leg for a moment. Good, sweep it, point that toe, engaging that core. Four, three, two, now left leg, same thing, just sweep it and kick, sweep it. So think about using your lower abs here as you sweep those legs up, trying to engage those muscles at the same time as engaging that quadricep. Good, four more, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna step a little wider into what we call second position, toes turned out. I want you to plie, lift the arms up. Plie, just kind of sweep the arms underneath you. Sink down as deep as you're comfortable, your range of motion allows. But as you come up, again, squeeze the glutes. Knit those ribs together and engage the core as you hug the midline. Lift, good. Now you can add a little lift to the toes if you'd like. So it's a little plie, lift, plie, little lift, hold and squeeze at the top. Squeeze, good. Down, up, down, lift, good. Four more, three, good, two, one. All right, from here we're gonna plie and just tap one foot, plie, tap. And when you tap, think about really lengthening through that toe, we're gonna change the arms of this to more of like a sweeping arm, just fluid. And you might gaze down side to side. Good. So lower you go, you might get that heart rate up a little bit more. You can go faster if you'd like as well. Now option with this one is to float that leg up. Float that leg up. When you do that, reach to the toe. Engage that gluten core. Lift, down, lift. Let's do four more like this. Three, two. Now let's plie, releve like we did before. Plie, releve, plie, releve. Two more. Now let's plie, sweep the arms, lift the leg. Four. Three, we'll do four of each. Two, one, plie, releve. One, good, two, three, four, plie, sweep the arms. Down, lift, down, lift that leg. Lift one more, plie, releve, plie, up, good, plie, up, two more. One more plie, sweep the arms again for four, three, two, plie, releve, four more here. Four, whoo, three, two, one. From here, you're just gonna bring the hands to the hips and just tap it out for a moment, catch your breath. All right, so from here, we're gonna learn chasse which is just an easy step together, step tap. All right, so you're just gonna step together, then tap with a pointed toe. Good, now bring the arms out once you got that. All right, from here, you can add a little bit of a hop, maybe a little kind of leap in the middle with the pointed toes. Totally option, an option here, you can keep it lower impact. So with this one, we're gonna change the arms at the end of this, just bring them out or do whatever they naturally want to do. Good. You can make this really big if you have more space. All right, now option is going to lift that back leg and maybe you add a little hop. Good. Feeling that heart rate come up. Looking good. Four more like that. Three, two, now let's do that plie releve again. For four, we've done this before. Three, two, chasse with that little hop. Chasse, chasse, 
Two more, chasse. One more, plie relevé. Plie up, hold, squeeze it all. Good, two more and one more chasse again for four, three, two. Really lengthen that back leg. One, plie relevé here again. Four, up, three, y'all look beautiful. I can see you. Chasse again for four, four, three, two, plie relevé again for four, four, up, three, lift, two. Let's do that one more time, chasse. Two more. Plie relevé, last four, four, lift, three, lift, good, two, lift. All right, from here, I want you to come out to that second position. Pulse it down. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Stay with the lower body pulses. Let's change the arms. We're just gonna bring them up and out, up, out. Plug those shoulders onto your back body. Keep that chest proud, that core tight. Out, lift, good. So simple, but your heart rate should be up. I know mine is, good. 10 more, nine, woo, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, good. All right, just hands to the hips, just tap it out. All right, we're gonna learn pas de beret here. Super easy. So I'm gonna leave with my right leg. It's a step, rock, rock. So step, rock, rock. You might consider it called ball change as well if you're a dancer or have a dance background. So it's just sort of a leap, hop, hop. You can keep it low or you can add that leap. Again, pointing the toes when you feel you can or you have the space to as you leap. Good. Now let's add some fluid arms. Rock back. Good. Hop, rock, rock. Hop. Let's speed it up a little bit. So it's a quick, quick. Good. Hop, rock, rock. Hop, rock, rock. Nice. Or it's hop, ball, change. Hop, ball, change. Just nice and gentle. All right. I want you to turn yourself a little bit so you're left hip is towards the back your right shoulder towards the front hold it here for four more three two one now hands to the hips right foot comes in front what we call third position your heels kind of at the arch of the back foot or your right heels at the arch of that back left foot i want you just to point the toe bring it in point back to that tendu two more now let's add some arms here so i want you to Open the chest and heart. Again, think about your back, your shoulders. Squeeze them, engage them. That core is working to stabilize. Squeeze, press the legs together. So stay here, or you're gonna make it an attitude. So you're lifting that front leg, bending the knee, pointing the toe. So it's open, down, open, down. Two more. Now that left foot, hands to the hip, we're gonna tondu it back. And again, just sort of a preparation for arabesque here. Now we'll reach the right arm forward, the left arm behind. So reach, just hit the arms first. Reach, slight hinge forward, two more. Now maybe that back leg sweeps up. Maybe you lean forward a little bit more. Lift, good, now squeeze, engage that glutes on that left side lift four more like this then we're gonna combine the attitude and the arabesque two more lift now back to the attitude let's do four four three two now the arabesque for four four three two Let's do two of each from here. Two, or attitudes rather, two arabesque. 
Do that again, two of each. Attitude, attitude, then arabesque. Now let's alternate, just singles, one of each. So it's attitude, arabesque, attitude, arabesque, attitude, arabesque. Now let's pas de beret, left and right. So you're gonna go left and right. Quick, quick, two more sets. One more set, back to the Arab, or attitude arabesque. Four, three, two, now pas de beret, left, right. For four, we'll keep it simple, four of each. Three, two, attitude arabesque. Again, for four, three, two, pas de beret for four. Four, three, two, attitude arabesque. Again, for four, three, Open that chest, good. Now pas de beret for four. Four, let's turn to the front as you pas de beret. Two, one, just hands on the hips. Just tap it out, catch your breath. All right, so we're gonna go to the other side, same thing. Starting in third, that left heel is in line with that back kind of mid foot or wherever it lands. We're gonna reach forward, down. Tap, or extend that toe forward, pull it back in. All right, let's add the arm. So open the chest and the heart to the front of the room. Good. Open, plug the shoulders back, squeeze them. Two more. Now let's make it an attitude if you wish. You're gonna lift that leg, pull it in. Lift, hug it in. Lift, good, hug, lift. Four more, then we'll practice the arabesque on the right leg. Two. Now start with just the time do with that back leg, that right foot. Just extend it out, slight hinge forward, two. All right, let's add the arms now. So this time the left arm comes up, the right arm goes back. Lean. All right, now float that back leg up, just brush it and then squeeze, engage that right glute. Lengthen nice and long, lift. Your shoulders are still out of the ears. Good. Back of the neck is long, feeling good. Let's do four more, then we'll combine them. Three, two, all right, attitude for four. So four, three, two, Arabesque for four. Four, three, two. Attitude for four again. For four, three, two. Arabesque for four and four, three, two. Let's do two of each. Two out of two. Two arabesque. Two out of two, two arabesque. Now single counts, let's do four total of each. Four, a little bit quicker, three. Get that heart rate up here, two. Now pas de beret, right, left this time for four. Three, two. Attitude arabesque again for four. Three, this is where we're getting that heart rate up, two. Pas de beret, right, left. So go right, left, good, right. Just flow those arms. Two more. Attitude, arabesque. Four, three, two. Pas de beret, right, left. For four, three, two. Attitude, arabesque. Four, three, two, pas de beret again for four, three, two, attitude arabesque last set, four, three, two, pas
pas de beret. Here we go. Four. Face the front. Three. Two. One. Now nice and wide. Second position. Plie. Plie. All right. We're going to add a little hop. Hop in and out. So you're going to in, out. Little plies. In, out. Soft. Soft. Imagine you're like a feather. You can't hear yourself hopping. Good. Out. In. Let's bring the arms overhead. Down. Overhead. For eight. Seven. Six. You got it. Five. Four. Woo! Three. Two. One. Nice job. All right. Nice and wide. I want you to turn so that left toe is nice and wide, kind of pointing to the left side of the room. The right toe is facing the front, kind of like a wide third position. What you're going to do is hands on the hips. I want you to just lunge into that front knee. Three pulses, stand up. So it's pulse, two, three, shift your weight back, point that front left toe and kind of look to the front. Three, two, one, and lift. We're going to add a right arm. Three, two, one, open. So it's reach, 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 open. Good. Big movements. Core is working. So keep it tight. Think about keeping your back nice and flat. Open. Option is to lift that leg and hold. Down. Two, three. Maybe you lift, squeeze the glutes. Contract the quadriceps, the core, down, two, three, open, hold, nice, down, two, three, open, good, down, two, three, open, let's do four more, get lower if you can, three, two, and one, all right, tap it out, facing the front, that left leg, I want you to bring it third position. I want you to bring that knee back and forward. Back, you're gonna stay here, or you can make it a hop. Good, maybe the arms come out, out again. Landing softly. You can't even hear yourself, good. Knees soft. Awesome job, the heart rate's coming up for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, just tap it out. All right, so nice and wide again. This time the right toe is kind of facing the side, the left toe is facing the front. I want you to hands on the hips. First, start by leaning into that knee, three little pulses, lifting up, shifting your weight onto that left leg. Down, two, three, lift. When you're ready, add that left arm. Again, core tight, lean, lean, open. And open, good. Plug the left shoulder on the back body. Good, stay with this, or add that lift of that right leg and a little hold at the top. Three, open, good, four or three, two, one, lift, good. Three, two, one, tighten the core if you've lost it. Three, two, one, lift and hold. Three, two, one, lift and hold. Three, two, one, lift and hold. Three, two, one, lift. Four more. Three, you guys are doing so awesome. Two more. And one more. Now just tap it out. All right, so we're gonna do that same third position, little high knee this time, right leg, right leg. Stay here, or little plie, and a little hop. Arms out, out. Keep the knees soft as you land softly. Point the toes if you can. Eight, 10, nine, eight, seven. We got it. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Good, tap it out. Woo, all right. So next combo, I want the arms out. Just kind of come to the center. I want you to kick your right leg, kick your left leg, kick. Now we're gonna bring this right toe to this knee. You're gonna lift, bring that same arm up. We'll just do four of each. So four kicks right and left. Four, three, two. We'll go slow here to start. Now lift that right knee. Four, three, two. Now if you have some space, you can kind of travel forward with the kicks. Three, two, and then travel back with the knees. Knee up, knee up, good. Knee up. All right, kicks, let's go a little faster now. For four, three, two, knees, you might relevate now, that's an option. Lift, kick forward. For four, out of sight, three. Reach through the toes, lift with that knee. Four, three, two, one, kicks. Four, three, two, try to hold that knee up for a second. Lift, good, kicks. You're working those stabilizing muscles when you hold it. Good for the hips, knee up. Four, three, two, one, kicks. Four, three, two, knee lift for four, three, two, one more time, kick. Four, three, two, knee lift. Four, three, two, all right, just tap it out. Nice job, guys. All right, last combo. I want you to take your right leg, step it back. A little curtsy, tap, arms out. Just a little curtsy, feeling that left hip. You can get lower for more, so maybe you come down more. Option with this right knee, keep it where it's at, or bring it up to touch that opposite knee with that toe. Lift, arms, maybe look like this. Down, hold, down, I want you to Hold, stick it, engage that whole body. Lift, good, down, lift. Let's go a little quicker. Get the heart rate up, down, up, down, up. 10, whoo, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, now a little ballet run here. Hands to the hips, you can do this or tap it out like we were before. For four, three, two, one. Let's do that same thing other side. So left foot taps back, little curtsy squat, arms out, tap that foot down, down. Good. Hope you guys are enjoying the sound of the woodpeckers. <laughs> I live in front of a nature preserve, so all sorts of cool critters giving us our music. So maybe you go down, lift that knee, down, lift the knee, hold it, down, hold, down, hold, good. And down, lift. Let's go a little quicker. Down, hold, down, hold, nice. Up. 10 more, whoo, if you fall like me, just get right back to it, one more, all right, ballet run or tap it out, so toes are just pointed, that's the difference, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's start to bring the heart rate down before we stretch, so just tap it out, I want you to turn to your right foot's behind you, hands on your hips. Go ahead, extend that left foot behind you, reach the arm up. Stay here or start to shift your weight into that right leg, coming and lifting and floating that back leg off the ground. Once it's lifted, if you can, you're gonna pulse it. Lift, squeeze that left glute. Use your core to balance. Lift, lift, you got it. You'll feel that right leg stabilizing. It's working as well, especially if you're on an uneven surface like me. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, just tap it out. Woo! All right, we got to even it out. Turn and rotate to the other side. Left foot's in front. We'll shift our weight into that left foot. Right leg comes back. Right arm lifts. Start to float that back leg up if you can. Hinge over as far as you'd like to. And then begin to pulse. Pulse. You might keep that left knee soft to help you balance. Don't lock it out. Lift. Lift. Keep pulling the belly in. Lift. Lengthening through that back toe. Woo! Don't fall like me. Lift. Lift. You got it. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's tap it out. Woo! All right. Well, I know I feel a lot better than I did before. Great little workout, lower impact. So let's go ahead, stretch it out a little bit here. So we work the hips a lot, the shoulders. So I want you to stand wide, hands on the inner thighs. Just drop that left shoulder, rotate, take a few deep breaths. And then drop the opposite shoulder, pushing the hands on those inner thighs, opening up through those inner thighs here. Breathe, slow everything down. Come back to center, bring the toes so that they're facing the front of the room, parallel to each other. I want you to press the belly button down, gaze up, get a nice stretch on that abdominal wall. And then as you exhale, arch the back like a cat, round and release that low back. I'll do it from the side too. So flatten the back, look up. Exhale, scoop the belly in, round and release. A few more. My glasses are fogging up, but we work so hard. It's a good one. One more. Now slowly come up. All right, from here, we're gonna get um, our IT band. So we're gonna take our left leg, keep it where it's at, cross the right leg in front with a bent knee. You're just gonna lean over, feeling that left sort of outer thigh IT band area. So keep that left leg straight, reach for the ground. You might be able to touch the ground and just breathe, hold it here. Slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Same thing, other side. So right leg stays in place, cross the left leg over with a bent knee, and then just begin to sort of peel down, reaching for the ground, shooting that right hip out to the right side. Stopping when you feel it, and then lengthening your breath while you're here. Good, slowly coming up. All right, so I'm gonna do a figure four standing stretch. Feel free to do this um, on your back and maybe if you're in your living room. So you're gonna cross your right leg over your left and you might lean over. You might stay here. You might be able to reach the floor. Again, you might be on your back. I'm not gonna do it here just because this is a pretty hard surface, unforgiving. But make sure you stretch out those hips. You can watch maybe Ryan's uh, hip stretch video from earlier this week. If uh, you're running out of ideas um, of hip stretches to do on your own, it's a great one to watch after this video. All right, so switching sides when you're ready. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found your inner ballerina today. Great job, guys. See you soon.